Hi everybody, um, so this is a tutorial for everybody who is using the Creative Cloud um, desktop app and maybe uh, you just ran a few uh, updates and now you've got double um, programs installed. So we've got Illustrator CC and Illustrator CC 2014 and this goes for a few others. So um, you might have um, removed the software from your computer just by dragging it to your um, bin. However, it didn't remove the, the version from this list. So what we're going to do is pretty easy. We're going to remove um, the software that you don't need from this list using the Adobe Cleaner tool. So just open a browser and go to um, Adobe Cleaner tool hit enter. I've got a Dutch version so bear with me. So there's um, I'm going to choose for the OS version and just download the cleaner tool. So that goes. Blah. Okay I'm going to open my finder and I just accidentally downloaded it twice. So I'm just going to run the tool that I just downloaded. and just run it from here. Sure, open. It's going to ask for a password. In my case, just accept the terms. Okay, so here's this window and it shows the double, or it shows all the um, Adobe software versions. So I want to remove the Illustrator CC. I, I removed it from the finder. However, it didn't remove it entirely, so I'm going to just look it up in here as well. Illustrator CC Core, it didn't remove it, so clean up. And here you can either clean up now or try uninstall. So first you might want to try uninstall first, and it will just run a few processes. Just remove everything, enter the password again, and there it goes. Sometimes it might tell you that you need to shut down or close a few um, processes that, it's, that are still running on your computer. So if you want to remove, um, shut those down and you cannot find them anywhere in your uh, dock, just go to the magnifier, the finder, and type in activity um, monitor. In my case it's activiteit weergave, but in English it's the activity monitor. And then you can just look up the process that you need to shut down. Just click it and then hit this button so it will stop the process. Wasn't necessary in this case, it removed it, so close. It will get out of this list and if you see here, it will still be here. So it will be out of this list once you just close the um, a Creative Cloud desktop app and run it again, then it will be gone. So we're going to try one more, Premiere Pro, clean up, try to uninstall, remove all the preferences as well, enter your password, hit enter, remove. It will take a few minutes, but since I already removed it from the finder, will go a bit faster because it only needs to remove the remaining files. So it will start running. There it goes. So um, there are a few more tutorials about um, problems you might have with the Creative Cloud. Just check out my channel and see if there's something that you need to, uh, to see to help you solve a few problems. And while we wait, I might as well tell you to hopefully like the video and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to post a few more tutorials just to keep you updated on stuff. Okay, almost there. I just want to show you what happens once I shut down and restart the Creative Cloud. Okay, so you see the Illustrator is still here and the Premiere Pro is still here. 
So close it. Check out the activity monitor to see if it's closed. It's still running, so it might, it's going to close right now. See, it's gone. So run the Creative Cloud again. And once it's online, if we check the apps, you will see that the apps are gone completely. Hold on, it's still loading. There it is. So Illustrator and Premiere Pro, just the 2014 versions. So I hope everything was clear. Um, leave a message if you need more info and make sure you subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much.